have any heart. Let's no, go. they suck. Person. I've been telling you all season, they Philly. Shit on you. Oh. They've shit on you. <laughs> Don't you hear me, Jordan? <laughs> Caleb Carter. It's like they shit on you. Oh. They've shit on you. <laughs> They have shit on you. Don't don't you hear me, Jordan uh, Davis, Gayla Carter? It's like they shit on you. Kill them. Oh my goodness. Did he say they, they cock it on them? I hate the style. <laughs> Well, good Saturday morning, friends. Mark Holmes here is my buddy Cowboy Joe Boo, and Joe Boo's got his cup of coffee, and his cup matches mine. Look at this. Good morning, Joe Boo. Mm. It is the weekend. The weekend is here of the biggest week in the NFL thus far. It is Cowboys versus the Eagles. And I've seen some strange shit. I don't know what it was. I, I, I'm going to use it for my thumbnail. I'm going to use it for my thumbnail. The Jalen Hurts and Dak Prescott in Cowboy gear. Uh, Jalen Hurts just doesn't look right in Cowboy gear. Uh, they should have had him in a big bird. Uh, a bird outfit. You know, just, just put him in a bird. Or better yet, how about a chicken outfit? There you go. A chicken outfit would have been perfect. But... <clears throat> All jokes aside, all jokes aside. Fuck them birds. Fly, eagles, fly. Now nah, we shoot those birds out of the sky. Stupid dumbasses managed to give up a third and 30 to my sexy arm. Pathetic defense and team. No wonder I own those piece of shit frauds every damn year. Don't get me started on the fans. You boo me while I earned a respected award. Losing the Super Bowl was just karma for you fuckheads. I can't wait to drop 100 on your heads next season while being the daddy of the NFC East again. So we need 77 points from the Cowboys tomorrow so we can drop 100? Or was he talking about playoffs? If you got them in playoffs, you could drop 100 on them. Or I'll take, I'll take 77 tomorrow. How about that? 77 tomorrow. All jokes aside, again, all jokes aside, um, um, we've got this matchup, and this thing is huge, okay? Um, if you ask me... I wouldn't be much help, a friend, somebody, you judge for yourself. I'm sorry. I'm just feeling good this morning. Um, this is huge for both teams. By no means is a loss by either team the end of the season. Both teams are going to be in the playoffs. But let's be clear here. And we've seen teams that have, you know, dominated. They always say it's hard to beat a team uh, three times in a season. So, of course, if the Cowboys win, that will be what the Eagle fans are going to be, you know, holding on to. They'll say, oh, well, you know, you can't beat a team three times. So we got that one out the way. In fact, um, I've been hearing some Eagle people basically saying, you know, exactly that. Well, you know, it was good to get that loss out of the way and stuff. And, you know, we ended up beating, uh, you, know, uh, you know, Josh Allen and crew. And we ended up beating, you know, um, Pat Mahomes and things. And we've taken care of business against, you know, good teams and yada, yada, yada. You know, that, that, that that's a good loss. Okay, well. The thing is, for the Eagles, if they lose this one, then that means they got to play out the string. That means if San Francisco, which does not have a, a really bad schedule either, um, you could see both of those teams going through and possibly winning all the rest of their games, the Eagles would end up losing home field advantage and have to play another playoff game and potentially play in San Francisco if it gets that far. For us, we'll at least temporarily get hold of the NFC East. Um, unfortunately, that loss to the Cardinals may be the death nail of being able to get uh, the, the moving up from the fifth seed. But we'll see. You know, I've heard so many different scenarios and things. Going into this game, the Cowboys are red hot. The Cowboys, be it people will say they were playing nobodies and it's a 14-game win streaks. And, you know, it was against tomato cans, including the Eagles last year when the Eagles had nothing to play for, so to speak, even though home field advantage was part of the equation and Jalen Hurts was out, uh, although Marcus Mariota and the offense scored 36 points. All those things, all those things. It's Cowboys versus Eagles. It's a division matchup. The Cowboys are about as healthy as they've been, and you have to look and honestly say the Cowboys have been getting better since the San Francisco game. They just have. 
so many different things are beginning to click for the Cowboys. You're seeing Jake Ferguson, uh, a.k.a. Fergalicious, beginning to become one of the better tight ends in football. Um, and being a security blanket, but not only a security blanket, you're seeing him do things that are Travis, Kelsey, Travis Kelsey-esque. Not dating Taylor Swift or anything, mind you. But catching the ball, moving in stride, and making yards after catch. And now we get Peyton Hendershot back, who hasn't played since week number three off the injury report. And you've also seen Schoonmaker beginning to get some playing time and doing some good things as well. Beyond that, even you're seeing Turpin with his speed being actually being able to use. It's kind of hard to believe that Kellen Moore had that kind of speed and wouldn't use it. And of course, Brandon Cooks has been the wild card. C.D. Lamb. Believe it or not, he was way, 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 he was so far back. He was in the back of the classroom in wide receiver school to A.J. Brown. He is now past A.J. Brown. And so as you look at this game, this game is, I want to say, the MVP. This is your chance to stake your claim to the MVP trophy for the quarterbacks. If Jalen Hurts, where his team has been battered and bruised on the road, wins, you got to say, hey, he's turned it back around to, to being the guy who should get the MVP. If Dak Prescott continues on the tear where he's leading in almost every statistical category, believe it or not, Joy, I haven't heard you saying those statements before or recently. Um, if they get the win here over the Eagles, with as much valley who as the Eagles had gotten all off season and love and support and everything else, where they basically said there's no chance in hell and how the Cowboys looked early in the season, then you definitely have to say that Dak Prescott would be the front runner for MVP. And beyond that, even Micah Parsons has been a beast this year in the NFL. He's not leading in sacks. He needs to get some. He's leading by far by pressures. But he needs those sack numbers, especially on a Sunday night football game where everybody is watching. Last week, getting that game-saving uh, pressure was huge. It reminded everybody, oh yeah, this guy, even when the defense is playing bad, is a game-changer. And this is another one of those opportunities where everybody, and I mean everybody, is watching. This is the big stage. Um, it doesn't get much bigger than this in the regular season. So I'm looking at my Cowboys and thinking they should be able to get a win. But let's understand, it's the NFL, man. The NFL, the Cardinals beat you. The Green Bay Packers beat Kansas City. The Lions beat Kansas City. The Eagles beat Kansas City. Heck, who, who, it seems like everybody's beating Kansas City, aren't they? This is the NFL. You could go from the penthouse to the outhouse in one week. And if the Eagles win, they're back in the penthouse. Cowboys lose, we're in the outhouse. We're in the shitter. And I don't want to be in the shitter. So let's hope our Cowboys have their shit together. Michael Irvin and Rich uh, Eisen were having a great discussion about this matchup and about the Cowboys versus the Eagles. And I want to go there as we roll out of here before I get to work. Good to see you, Michael Irvin. It's a lot in there, Rich. It's a lot in there, Rich. It's unique. Everybody laugh. <laughs> first time you seen, that's the first time you guys saw that? Yeah. Yeah, the Dak Prescott it. commercial. It. Yeah. It's real. It's real. Okay, it is real. Okay, and by it. the way, it's on his, it's on his, uh, his social media accounts. Yeah. It is mm. to try and screen. You have a home uh, uh, testing right. for, for colon cause. cancer. It is a great cause. It is great a go. great understanding. And, and it, it is hilarious. Yeah. And I, I th was that Ryan Reynolds' voice at the end? I think mm. that's what it sounded like to oh, me. But, but, really? But, um, yeah, so. but the the different stickers that you put on the bottom of what contains what you're, yeah. if you will, um, putting a sample into are all teams that he's going old timey prospectors, 49ers. <laughs> Funny. Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 seeing mammals, which is marine dolphins, dolphins. Yeah. right? Yeah. Right, marine and life. then and then of course, uh, right, an eagle which at the great. bottom, <laughs> right, right. Which is great. Perfect what timing for Sunday. Was going awesome. to happen. Right. What is going to happen? And the face at the end, what is going to happen, end, Rich? Was Deadpool? It really was Ryan Reynolds. It's it, great, right? Right. If but, if, but now it's a great commercial, and and, and he's, I love how it starts out. 
When you're the Dallas Cowboys quarterback, a lot of people talk a lot of, <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Dropping the word, so it's great. Wow, it's going good. It's going it's good. It's great, isn't it? But boy, if this thing turns, oh, it's that commercial up. gonna turn. All of them yeah. shit jokes. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you, did y'all got the button on that, right? Yeah. 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 We had it installed a few okay. weeks ago. All yeah. them buttons, all, 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 all just of that. Well, well, all of that. Oh, and, and then they're going to be putting Dak on the bottom of that thing. That's what it's going to be. As long as right? it goes good, that's going to be a great commercial. If it goes, you know what I mean. It's going to all the way go. Well, let's look at it positive. Let's say this. Let's, the bowl is half full, Okay. Yeah, so the bowl is half full. <laughs> the commode is That's half pretty full. Pretty good, though, Rich. You know what I'm good. saying, Mike? That's pretty good. I like that. So I like what, that. What, what do you What do you think about Sunday night? Let's just jump right into it. Let's I, go. I feel good about Sunday night. I, you know what? I, I'll tell you what. I said last week I had never been vexed and called in a game, and that was that Philly San Fran game, just because the matchup and what Philly had done in that game was in Philly. This game is. It, it, I feel good about Dallas. I feel good about where they are. Dallas is. 14 straight home games. Yeah. So, 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 and, and I've heard the guys talk about this streak they got at home and how much it matters to them. So, so I, I feel good about that. Many plans. Remember how Dallas, how, how Dak, I should say, finished that game in Philadelphia. You know, at a big fourth quarter, threw the ball all over the field. I need him to start this game like that mm-hmm. and try to put Philly in one of those situations early on but but it's going to be a great game well it makes sense yeah. for him to be able to God, do that because of a couple things you just saw right. the, right. the Philadelphia defense is exploitable right and, and number two um there Bush, they, I mean you name Look another uh, their 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 offense is up there right now Dolphins name another offense in the NFL you can't put anybody above Dallas right now they are crushing it you know mccarthy right. when he took over the play calling i know there was a lot of like yeah. okay good luck with that right. bringing that old school mentality here and, and right, but i think it worked but it's my god has it worked and right. so you, you have had a front row seat to cd lamb's ascension what what is different what is changed at all or is it just this is the natural you know no, order no, of no, things no, for things him have changed because they've, they've given him more opportunities You've heard many times, and when when Troy would be doing a game, and he said, "Hey, it's one on one. Why why are we doing all this other stuff? Once he's one on one, you got to just go back to him and throw the ball to him." They're starting to do that more, you know. And they put him inside and outside. They gave him CD. more more opportunities outside. Outside, Rich. Outside wide receiver, you get to do some one on one things. When you leave somebody inside so much, and they were playing them a lot inside, you're more apt. And the more they're more able, you're, they're more apt, and they're more able to double team you because they always have help around you. Right. Mm-hmm. So then you start putting them out. A lot of that stuff, man, moving them around. You see them doing now with with CD what they do with Tyreek Hill, giving them you know tall sweeps and pitches, let him run the ball. So now that makes a stress on the defense because you know the whole defensive point has been about CD Lamb all year long. He has to be. We still got to get. They still have to work on getting a better run game, a more consistent yes run game, and they're going to need it here in Philly because I think Philly's going to come out and say, "Hey, we're going to run the football." All right, we've been throwing the ball all over the yard. Let us let us try to slow your game down and just pound you to death. And Dallas, had, you got you got to deal with stopping the run. I believe. We're okay, so there's the that. Uh, just before we move on in this conversation, what are your talks with seating like? What I mean, what do you do? You, do you pull him aside? Or I could, could take us inside. What you? I love CD, well, Take us inside the eighty-eight dude. club. You know, TJ's well, wearing the right, shirt. We right, gotta, right, right. Well, yeah. And what TJ, do you got? He has his shirt on, right? Yeah, oh, he got and, it. Oh, and, yeah. and, right, and he got all the CDs. As you know, of course, Drew, me, Dez, and and CD. You see that right there? I said you're missing somebody, and you know he's missing the Post Malone. Got to put Post Malone. Post will be offended by that shirt. Yeah, you know, Post is in the eighty eight club. <laughs> you know, you gotta you gotta put him on there. With all now, due respect, he never Our group a text, it's it's us and Post. You know, on the group text. So when CD's playing, you know, everybody's group texting, Post, Drew. Hey, we're go in there, we're go, you know, we're Why go is Post this. Malone in the eighty eight club? Because we, we 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 brought him in. How oh. do I get in the eighty eight club? Christian, huh? You can you yeah, you you know, post <laughs> he's, he's like, nah, you ain't 
He's Cowboys, so you know. He's, he's been holding down the fort for the Cowboys from Western it, it, Pennsylvania, Mike. Yeah, I know, but Post, you know, Post dad parked cars over there. He okay. grew up as a cowboy, you know, so. All right, so Post Maloney, yeah. I didn't know, but I had no idea there could be honorary members yeah, 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 of the yeah, yeah, Indian yeah, Club. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, you got to be able to. Michael, I need to be an honorary member. member. Higher heights. Okay. <laughs> you can't just come in and can't be a great asset and then just try to be a liability. Post Malone takes that 88 to a higher height. Yeah, you know, okay, I mean, okay now I see it. Okay. Yeah, 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 so okay. then, you, what do you talk about with CD? Just talk Next about time I see Michael, I'm going to see if I can become an honorary. Well, 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 with, with CD, listen, it, it, CD is such, he's so tuned in right now. When I talk to him, I say, hey, you know what 88 is about? He said, I got it. Okay. I got it. So not you know much needs I mean? to be you said. You know, you know, it's nothing to be said. We, we, we talked about it when we first got it. When he first sat down and talked about it, I said, man, you know, there's a difference. When you wear this number, honestly, Mm -hmm. Honestly, when you step with this number, he because he, he was in the number two. I said, "You wear number two, wear number two. But if you wear this number, you it, it's different. It, it's going to give everybody hope because when this number's on the field, there's a positive. There's hope for championships. This is a championship number. Yeah, I remember so, when so you got drafted. You 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 told right, him right. you need to wear and, this and, number. And and and, and now he didn't want to. And, and like, I think he's. I don't know. I mean, he just he's taking it on now. Mm -hmm. He can appreciate it. And I'm telling you something, man. He's just a great dude. When I, when I went through something, he came, we were talking, man. And I texted him. I came with see him. He hugged me and grabbed me and walked off. And, and he didn't know that I was going through anything. But, man, it just meant so much to him. And I texted him back later. I said, man, you know, that's just the power that the 88 has and what you're doing on the field, you know. I said, I know if you made this old 88 feel better. I know what you could do for kids wearing that 88, so I just appreciate you. You know what I mean? Those kind of conversations we have, too, because he's just a good dude, man. Mm -hmm. I'm so proud of him and proud yeah. of the success he's had. Well, you divide 88 by Aikman's number, right? And you come up with 11, and that's Micah Parsons. What do you think about that math? You probably never uh, uh, thought uh, about that math, good, right? right? I never <laughs> thought about it. Right. Right. Divide your 88 club right. by your quarterback. Okay. Right. Come right. up with right. That's kind of a reach. 11. 11. 11. And that's the guy right there. He's he is already said that we need a significant win, and you need to dominate. Yes, you need to dominate That's what someone. We need to do. And I don't know about dominating. You know, I would like to see that because I think, you know, it, there, there's still some things the Dallas defense has to prove. Well, in terms of that, I don't know if you, you uh, covered this on uh, Undisputed this morning because you know we're we're kind of up against you in a way. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, did you hear what um, yeah. Yeah. Nick yeah. Bosa yeah. Yeah. had to say with the blueprint? Have you heard about that? Oh, I have not. Okay, here we go. This was Nick Bosa oh, yeah, saying that um, he believes what the 49ers did against the Eagles Ooh. offense mm -hmm. is a blueprint that others can follow. It, it, it sounds like he is advocating that the Niners well, cracked they, the code. They want us to. Hmm. Work on Niners on Sunday. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Yeah, I mean, you see it on tape, though. Uh, and then, obviously, we put the blueprint out there. Hopefully, Cowboys watch the tape. Um, we made Jalen stay in the pocket and escape outside instead of those big gaps and uh, paid off. Because Jalen's looking at the rush every play. Um, so, yeah, you just have to be disciplined and, and not give him that quick escape route where he could get to his guys quick. All right, blueprint. What do you think? That's interesting. Do you think there's a blueprint? That's interesting, man. I, mean, I, I got to go look back. I got to go look at the game now and watch them do it and see it. And then see if the cow. Let me let me tell y'all something about this blueprint stuff. Okay. You can write up a blueprint with the greatest whoever writes them up, but if you don't have the people to perform what someone yeah. wrote, there you, you go. Just looking at a piece of paper with some ink on it. Come on, let's stop playing. You know what I mean? I gotta go make sure you got the pieces in place to do yep. the blueprint to mm -hmm. run the blueprint. We just said, oh, we got a blueprint. That's all good. We got a lot of things. But, but if you ain't, got, you ain't got the tools and the materials, you're difference. screwed. Everybody's going to hear it, and everybody's going to try it. But very few will succeed with the Philadelphia Eagles. Well, but you, you guys have the, I the just pieces. Hope Cowboys going to be one of them. Well, I mean, you, go. you know, Tank Lawrence, obviously. You got, you got, you got Micah, just to, and then the back yeah, end. But, but, but what, I, what I heard him say is, you got to keep them in the pocket, all right? Yeah, slow ride. Don't give them those quick outs, those quick ends. Mm -hmm. Now, they're strong, strong, and, and Dallas has gotten much better up the middle of the field with Mazi and all those guys stopping right. the run and right. everything, so it gives you a chance. 
but in, in staying laying integrity and making sure he goes that one way key. or the other, and it, it affects his ability to throw back. It sounds great. Mm-hmm. It sounds great. But getting it done is a whole nother That's thing. Right. You the can't Cowboys give him a You have some of that talent. Okay. There you go. When you played, you Look. hit the wrong one. I fire Howie. Fucking fire. Motherfucker. <laughs> Stupid motherfucker. What an idiot. What an idiot. Dallas has Amore Cooper and Gallup, but we don't need a receiver. Are you kidding me? I don't want Justin Jefferson. He's ass. He's stupid. I fire his ass. I fire his ass. I mean, how he's got to be stupid. What are you doing? You just let Dallas take him. You... Hit the wrong button there this morning, but forgive me. I'm Mark Holmes, and I appreciate each and every one of you guys. And, man, we're just a day away from war. And uh, I'll see you soon.